Big salute, big salute, big salute, big salute to all my loved ones. Support goons, support squad, uh, uh, business partners, uh, 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 shareholders. Mm, mm, mm. All my loved ones. Love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. Y'all already know. What it do, what it do? What you want, Cuddy? Yeah, you know, we on this reading time. Quick read with T. Quick read with T. Yeah, man. Hey, it's a lot going on in the world, man. I, I got to get on live so we can do some talking, man. It's a lot going on, boy. Woo. Boy, it's a lot going on. Man, man, man. Why do it seem like every day is just getting worse and worse and worse? And the, and the price of meat? Oh, my goodness. Big Slew, I had sent the brother to, uh, uh, sent the picture to Big Brother last night, well, a video that we was watching on Instagram, because now people putting out video, they going in the supermarket like, oh, where's the supply chain crowd? Well, let's go and see. Not everybody doing a, man, 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 man. Them family pack of steaks, that them big roasts, what they damn near 200? 150, 175, well, I say, God. So, now, I don't know if that's in all states or or in just certain states. I don't know. I don't know. We, now, videos are starting to surface. So, we what we need to do, we need everybody. Everybody that, that see this video, we, we need all y'all to go in the grocery store. Y'all put this shit on blast, man. Put it on blast. Tell them no. Tell them start unloading these boats. Go ahead with this mandate. You know, if, if you know, man, look. Man, look. Come on, man. This shit, man. I'm we expecting things to go back the way they used to be. Man, we we living this a whole new world out here, man. A whole new world. But hey, I guess that's just part of the end, though. So I guess it gotta whatever God's will must and will be done. So we just got to roll with it, man. We just got to roll with it. But let me get to this read. We're going to go live so we, we can talk about it. I, I need to know what everybody, how everybody feeling, man. I need to know how my folks feeling, man. What's going on in your area? What's going on in your state? Because, you know, every state, every area is a little different. You know, they do certain stuff in certain states to see how it's going to affect people in other states, see how people going to react. So, you know, we already know about how that beta testing thing go. You know what I'm saying? We we know about that. So we just got to keep our eyes and our minds open and clear. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into the read. Let's get in, into the read. We're going to talk about seven years to perfect health. Man, that go that, that lucky sale again, man. <laughs> that lucky sale, man. Oh, man. I'm glad that's about lucky number, man. Now, now I'm understanding why. I'm so connected with the seven. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Whatever condition your health is in, you can change it to perfect health. I am a phone by the guy. Whatever condition your health is in, you can change it to per perfect health in seven years by following the seven-year fasting schedule. When you complete it, You'll never be sick another day in your life. I started this schedule when I was 21 years old and completed it when I was 28. I've been living by it ever since. I haven't been sick a day since then. In ancient times, before the advent of the light races, all people on earth lived by this schedule. They started it when they were 21 also and completed it when they were 28 years of age. The schedule uses a natural rhythm that allows the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 7. These four numbers are the natural rhythmic numbers of vibration of our body and brain. Man, these four numbers are the natural rhythmic numbers of vibration of our body and brain. A repetition based on them will train the body in the most gentle way to adapt a new habit 
at the same time displacing the old harmful habits anyone under the age of 60 can you hold on harmful habits Anyone under the age of 60 can use this rhythmic schedule for seven years. After seven years, his or her body will be habituated, H-A-B-I-T-U-A-T-E-D, habituated to a new, constructive, healthy rhythm. Our destructive rhythms and habits, especially our eating habits, big, big bro, eat the lip, eat the lip, eat the lip, eat the lip. Our destructive rhythm, rhythms and habits, especially our eating habits, are inculated, I-N-C-U-L-C-A-T-E-D, inculcated, inculcated, I-N-C-U-L-C-A-T-E-D inculated into our bodies by the simple process of repetition. As adults, we eat three or more times a day, big facts. Not because it's natural to do so, but because we've pounded that rhythm into our bodies by repetitions. So so three or more times every day, the rhythmic clock in our stomach starts ringing a bell, clamoring to be fed. And so we eat. It's all out of pure habits. Big facts, big facts, big facts. Because sometimes I be wanting to eat. I be like, man, I'm hungry and shit. Then I eat and I don't eat half. I'm like, damn, how do I get full so quick? Got to train your body. Got to train your body. A new constructive habit can be included into, into our bodies exactly the same way that the old one was. Namely, by repetition. It's not easy to repeat the exact number of times to get a complete reversal. In other words, say you are 30 years old and have been eating three or more times a day for 30 years. You don't have to repeat the new rhythms for another 30 years before your body gets used to it. You can do it in seven years. That's the importance of the human of the numbers that's the importance of the numbers one two three and seven a <clears throat> a repetition based on them has the power to reverse old harmful habits in seven years the ancients knew that only growing children up to the age of 21 should eat three times a day because their energy requirements and, meta- and metabolic, metabolic rates, M-E-T-A-B-O-L-I-C, metabolic rates, are higher due to the fact that their bodies are still forming. After the age of 21, it's no longer necessary to eat three times a day. So this habit has to be broken if a person desires to live a good health. That's big facts, because you know, when you get out of high school, you a lot thicker. You know what I'm saying? Do the sports and all the eating. And then when you get to college, and or if you don't go to college, but after high school, you either gain a lot of weight or you lose a lot of weight. You start, you know, over the years, after four years after you graduate, you know, you're going you gonna to grow into your adult adult body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that 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 makes sense. Unless you doing in college doing sports and all that, you get. That's when you see high school football players, and when they get to college, you be like, damn, oh, well, they grown men now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's you and your adult body now. Yeah, that's a perfect example because I played football, and we like, damn, we take college trips, and we be like, damn, he only a few years older than me, but he big and damn, that's my competition when I get here. But the coaches, they looking at you like, okay, you when you get into your grown man body, you're going to be, if not a monster like him, or you're going to be a bigger monster. So they you, you, you're not looking at it like that. But the coaches, the old school, they looking at it like that. Like, yeah, you're going to be a monster once you hit your grown man body. Yeah, yep. Okay. 
Children under the age of seven were allowed to eat as much as they wished. At that young age, the mind and body are still in a close natural synchrony. S-Y-N-C-H-R-O-N-Y. Synchrony. And children usually eat only when they're hungry. They have the same instinct that animals have in the wild. And that they're able to listen to their bodies and know exactly when they're hungry. After the age of seven, this natural instinct in people begins to fade if it's not trained and encouraged to continue. It's overwhelmed by other more pressing things that begin to occupy the developing mind. So beginning at age seven, children were taught to eat only three times a day and only as much as they needed. They continued for 14 years until the age of 21. After 21, they were initiated into the seven year fasting schedule such as the one I'll describe in the next post. This schedule slowly and gently took them off the three meals per day to one meal every, th- every three days. One meal every three days is the ideal dietary rhythm for adults to maintain constant good health. Oh, man. Man, I don't, I don't think a lot of y'all ain't gonna be able to do that. I know, boy, that'd be hard for me after one day. Ooh wee! But he got it broke down, so we <laughs> we gonna get into it. I know y'all like, damn, three days no eating. It can be done. It can be done. It can be done. One meal every three days is the ideal dietary rhythm for adults to maintain constant good health. All all foods contain a certain amount of poisonous substances. These mild poisons are essential for the body and play just as as important a role in the body's health as the nutritious substances. Nutritious substances are essential to provide energy for daily living. The poisonous substances in all foods are also essential but for a different protective reason. They are the soldiers that guard every cell in our body to make sure that foreign harmful substances don't lodge themselves in. Without these mild poisons in every food we eat, our bodies would soon succumb to foreign, biological, and other agents that could harm our cells. Big facts. So these mild poisons are found on the walls of all the cells, aiding our immune system to stand guard and destroy any harmful agents that find their way into our bodies. Makes a whole lot of sense. The danger is that these mild poisons can cause harm themselves if they're allowed to accumulate beyond a safe level. In children, they're metabolized every 6 to 12 hours. They don't have the opportunity to do much harm by themselves, except when they are aided and bolstered by an unhealthy diet. That's why you be like, dang, why my, all my, all my, all thing my kids do is eat, play, and shit. <laughs> eat, play, that's all kids do. Eat, play, and shit. Yeah, that shit is, is, is every 6 to 12 hours. So keep all your kids black like, now. Yeah, every six to twelve hours, yeah, my baby go to the bathroom. They, you know, getting it out of. Them. Yep. Yep. In adults, all people over twenty-one years of age, they're metabolized only once every three days. When an adult adds more of them by eating food every day, every three or more times a day they slowly accumulate until they cause an illness, such as a cold, fever, headache, and so on. Big facts. Yeah, big facts. Soon thereafter, if they're not clear, the illness can get serious and become a grave disease, such as pneumonia and others even cancer or a heart attack. That's why they be like when your arteries is caught clogged, that's how you catch a heart attack. And you eat the wrong thing that's in your body, 
you know, cancer is kind of like a fungus. That's how it would like a tumor. It's like a knot of of all of all this shit that grow in your body, and like a black hair, a black hair can turn into cancer. That's toxins coming out your body. That's dirt coming out your body. A black hair can turn into cancer over time because it'll get bigger and it'll get hard, and then you can't pop it. So think about that. Think about that. By eating only healthy foods every three days, there is enough time for the poisons that are no longer useful to be processed and flushed out of the system. That's what your liver's for. Then they're replaced by new ones that continue the job of guarding our cells. That's how they're naturally prevented from accumulating and causing disease, thereby turning from being our protectors into our enemies. We can keep them as our friends by giving them enough time to dissolve and make way for new ones by eating only once every three days. Now, it takes strength and character to start such a long-term permanent fasting schedule. It takes strength and character to start such a long-term permanent fasting schedule. It's not advisable for anyone to go immediately from their present unhealthy eating habits and start eating once every three days or even once a day. Such a drastic reversal would be too much for a shock to the body. The change has to be slow and gentle so that the body can become used to it without discomfort. The seven year fasting schedule is an ideal changeover schedule. It has the same natural rhythm that our bodies live by. Anyone who follows it will gently rehabituate themselves from whatever eating schedule they're on. Now to now to a proper healthy eating habit that adults should follow to maintain constant perfect health permanently. Oh man. That's some big facts right there. That's some big facts. And then he got the schedules broke down. So you can start you can start off slow. You know, it's a process. Everything is a process. For, for us to deprogram and, and for us to get our superhero bodies, this sound like it. it's it's possible and able to be done and work. It, it make you think. I'm like, man, if I could change from all this shit, because, you know, they shoot up our food. We got that GMO food we used to eating and all that crazy food, like just coming to Africa and eating the, the different ways. You could tell the difference in the chicken. You could tell the difference in the fruits. And you could tell the difference when your body starts changing to adjust to the real food. And it's like a feel-good adjustment. It's not like, oh, I'm hurting. I'm, I'm like, when you eat, you like, dang, my bowels move more. It's like a feel good. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm feeling good. I can get up in the morning. I can, I can move around. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel sluggish. When it's time to get up, I can get up. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, when we come back, we're going to go through the schedule. Now, a lot of the schedule is broke down like this. So when I put it up there, I'm going to hold it up there, and I'm going to count to like 5 or 10 and let y'all screenshot it. I'm going to let y'all screenshot it so y'all can save it. You know what I'm saying? So this is the first schedule. This is the starter. So y'all, if y'all can, go ahead and screenshot that. Can y'all see that? That's that's the first. That's the start of the schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to y'all now. And now when we come back, I'll go ahead and show it again so y'all can screenshot it. Hold on. I said I was going to count to 5 or 10. Hold on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's that's the first. That's how you start your schedule off, right there. When I come back, we are gonna go ahead and read it, and I'm gonna show y'all. Shit, the whole schedule is kind of long too. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah, we come back. Yeah. We're going to go through the breakdown of the seven-year fast schedule. Now, then, now, this is central for our health. Yeah, this is central for us right here. So y'all make sure y'all get ready to screenshot these. So big salute. Get ready to make some moves right quick. Um, Be looking out for the live. We're trying to go live. We got a lot to talk about, y'all. I, I, you know, I got to talk. Well, we got to talk because, boy, it's a lot going on. I know y'all feeling a certain way. I'm feeling a certain way. What's going on in the world? I mean, y'all pray for Ethiopia, man. They they want the ring of Solomon. This is why they causing conflict in Ethiopia. The seal of Solomon, the seal of David, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, Google songs of Solomon. This is one major player that they don't talk about in the Bible. The songs of Solomon, the son of David, the first king of Israel, Solomon. Yes. So y'all go Google that. Talk about the seal of Solomon. The last person to wear this ring was King Selassie. You know, the man that, that brought the rosters back home to Ethiopia. They want that ring so they can control the demons, y'all. Yeah, this this the ring that God gave to him. Songs of Solomon. The the uh um uh, seal seal of Solomon. It's the seal of David, but you know Solomon is the son of David. So y'all pray for Ethiopia, man. You see they talking about marching on Addis Abba. That's where the museum is, just like they did in Iraq. They went in there, the first place they hit, they sacked the museum. This is what they do. It's called booty. It ain't about the money that's in the banks. The real valuables is in the museums. Think about it, y'all. Big salute, big salute, big salute. Love y'all, man. Stay tuned. Pray for Ethiopia, man. Pray for Ethiopia. Pray for Africa. Pray for everybody, man. Prayer strong. Mm. Allah Akbar.